Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to make this square. This square is called Le Vesignet and it's been designed by Sigrun. I'll be taking you through the rounds that make up this square. I'm making this square using Schreepje's stone washed yarn and a 3.5mm hook. We'll first be making small little circles, joining them and then working a border around those little circles. So I'll take you step by step through the rounds that make up this square. Thank you for watching and I hope it's a useful video for you. We're going to start by making nine of these small little circles and we're leaving a yarn tail on both on all of them, so the start and the end tail, because we're going to use these tails to connect them together. We're going to make nine of these. I'll show you how to do one and then you do eight more. We're starting with a slip knot on your hook and then chain six. It's one, two, three, four, five, six and close to the first chain stitch with a slip stitch. Now in the little circle that you've just made we're going to make 15 single crochets. Chain one in the ring is the first this one, You're going to do 15 of these, 15 single crochets. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. I'm now just going to have to move everything up a bit because I'm going to need to squish in a few more. So it's 10 stitches. I'm also working over the first yarn tail as I go. It's 11, 12, 13. Need two more. And this is 14 and 15. I'm going to cut my yarn, leaving a little bit of a tail that I'm going to use to join these circles together. I'm going to open up and I'm going to close with an invisible join. So I'm going to come to my first single crochet, push my hook through, pick up the yarn, pull through, go to the last single crochet worked, the back loop, insert my hook there, then pull this yarn through again. You can also close on your first stitch with a slip stitch. You can also do that. The reason why I'm doing an invisible join here is because when we join these circles and you're not going to see that little slip stitch there. So this is just a neater join. So I've not done one of these. You need to do nine of these circles in total. And when you have nine of them, we can join them together. Then I'll show you how to do that. So quickly make nine of these little circles. When you have all nine circles, you need to join them and this we are going to do with a needle. So if you don't like working away at tails, this will be a little bit of a stressful part for you, but don't worry. We'll go through it one by one. I'm going to join these squares in a three by three pattern. So those three, for example, and then like here, and then for example, like that, for example going to do them in this order, but you can also do a different order if you like. I'm going to start with the center one, and then I'm going to join these four, and then I'm going to do the four corners. To take the center circle, let me just move these aside, the center circle, and then I'm going to take one of the two yarn tails, and just put that on my needle, and then one of the circles that I have next to it. I'm going to take that and now be mindful that you have the front of your circles facing, that you don't accidentally put them in upside down. You can see this is the back of your circle, but you have the front of your circles facing. What I'm going to do is we're just going to join these two by just catching a few stitches. And you can do two or three stitches here. 
pattern does say three but if you do two stitches I find that works also fine. So I'm just going to go through the back loop of one circle and through the back loop of this one. Just bring these two together. So you can see how you've joined those two there. And I'm purposefully only doing the back loops because that way the, um, the front loops, these ones, are not um, connected and then that just look, makes the circle look nicer. And then the back loop on this one and on that one also. Now I've got them joined in two stitches and this is actually already a reasonably good join. So if you want to you can also do a third stitch. I'm not going to do a third stitch. I'm already happy with this. So this red tail, the red yarn tail I've got on my needle now, while I'm at it I'm just going to bring this in here. I'm just going to work away this tail because that will just make it a little bit more easy to see what you're doing because you've got less yarn tails. And be mindful when you work away your yarn tails, leave this little circle open because that would um, give your square the right size. If you make these, um, these little circles closed, you'll find that the total square actually becomes just a little bit too small. So be mindful of that. I'm just going to backtrack here and backtrack one more. And now I'm happy with that and I can cut my yarn here. So now I've joined two of the circles. I'm going to join a few more. I'm going to take this one here. I want this one here to the top. So again I'm just going to take one of the two tails, put that on my needle. And I'm kind of going to have to eyeball it. This is the front of the square. Just kind of eyeball it exactly where you want them to join. And like I said, it's not exactly critical if you do this one stitch more to the left or to the right really. This pattern is forgiving enough. So don't, don't uh, become stressed about that. Ah, there we go. So I'm just going to put them back sides facing again and just grab a stitch on this side and one on that side. Pull through grab another stitch on this side and on that side. Kind of in dubio which one to do first. I'm just going to go back through the red one again. You can see now you've joined your little circle there. And again this yarn tail you can now work away. And I'm going to just go back to the red or from the red to the brown here because it's a brown tail and I want to work this away in the brown circle because I think that's just more neat. Like so. And I can just cut this off again. That's to the back. So now I've done, now I've got three circles connected. I'm going to do the same and just connect this one here and this one here. So let me see at random. I'm going to join that one and this one, I think. Or maybe I just thought something else. But anyway, I'm going to join these two. Again, just keeping in mind that you've got the front of them facing. So join these two exactly the same way we did these two. Again, be kind of align these stitches together and kind of eyeball where you want them. And do this one also. So have that one aligned more or less here and then we'll do the corner stitches. I now have these four circles joined. What I'm first going to do before doing the four corners is I'm going to work away all these yarn tails here. That's just going to make um, life a bit easier for me if I first work away these tails because on the circles we've got left there's enough yarn on here to connect everything so I'm just going to work these tails away. I now have these four all nice and tidy. So I'm going to attach this circle here. To pick up one of the two yarn tails, again doesn't matter which one you choose. 
I'm going to use this tail to connect it to both of this of the circles. Again, make sure you've got them all right side up, that you don't accidentally join one the other way. I'm going to start here, I'm going to first join it to the yellow circle, and when I've got that done, join it to the brown circle. Again, back size facing, kind of eyeballing exactly where the stitches are you need, because in this case you're going to need them about here, there at the top of the circle, so don't go too far to the left or to the right, kind of here at the the top. It's going to go through the back loops, just grabbing two stitches. You can just open it up to just see if that's still the correct position. I'm still happy with that. So I'm just going to grab one stitch more. reasonably okay with where that is positioned. I'm just going to pull this yarn tight because then the stitches become a bit smaller and just push through the back. I'm okay with how that is. Like I said this is not an exact science and if it's just one little stitch to the left or to the right don't worry about that. I'm going to go through the stitches here to the back to this position because then I want to join it to the brown circle. Go through the back. And this one is maybe the trickiest joint to get these two more or less at the right connection point to one another. Because up till now all your um, your circles have been free and you could rotate them, but now you can't do that anymore. If you look from the front, you can kind of see that you want them to be joined at this position here. I'm just going to fold them back, having the back sides facing. You go through the back loop of the one circle and the back loop of the other. Picking up a back loop on this side again and on that side. And then open up to the front. Now you can see whether or not you're you've aligned them correctly. And this is okay. If it's not cor correct, just quickly undo these last stitches and just do it again, that you have the feeling, okay, that they're, they're not under stress. If um, everything is, um, if you've accidentally, for example, taken stitches up here, you'll notice that everything is um, kind of stressed here and doesn't lie nice and flat. I'm happy with this. With this yarn tail, I'm just going to push through the back again. Now I can work it in. What I've now done for this circle, I'm going to repeat with the other three on these sides here also. I'm going to do that one there, I think, and this, this one here, and I think that one there. I'm going to do it like this. So attach these other three circles also in the same way that you just attached that one. When you're finished, work away all your last yarn tails and then your little circles, they look like this. You'll notice also for me here that sometimes they don't align exactly straight. You see here this one is just a little lower than that one. You know, that's not a problem. This, um, this square is forgiving enough that it doesn't matter if there's just a little bit of a discrepancy. If you've done this, we're ready for the crochet edge around these little circles. Round one of the crochet part. I'm going to start, I've got a slip knot on my hook, and we're going to start on any corner circle. Doesn't matter which corner circle you choose. And we're going to start, actually I'm just going to eyeball this and look for the corner stitch. I'm going to take that stitch as the corner because we're going to first make a corner. So I'm going to take that stitch there. And then we do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So I've got the yarn on my hook, and in that corner stitch, start with the standing single crochet. You can also attach and do a chain two here. Chain two, 
and work another single crochet in the same stitch. And that is your first corner made. You see if you kind of put it flat and eyeball it, it should be more or less at the corner of your um, of your square. Chain two, one, two. Then we're going to skip one or two stitches, kind of depending on how your your circle worked out. But what you're looking for is the top of the stitch of of the circle, the top. So that for me is a top stitch. So that means I'm skipping that stitch and then going into this one here. Work a single crochet in there. Again, chain four. One, two, three, four. Move on to the next circle. Again, kind of eyeball it. You're looking for the center stitch. It's going to be that one there. Work a single crochet in there. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Coming to this circle, again you're looking for the center stitch. It's going to be that one there. And work a single crochet. You can see how you've made an edge here. Chain two. And now you're going to make a new corner. To skip this stitch and in the next I'm going to work my corner. Single crochet, chain two and a single crochet. And this stitch is the same as this stitch, so these corners are the same. So you can see along the one edge you've now worked um, a frame that we're going to be working in in the next round. Just going to repeat everything we've done, I'm going to repeat it once more. Skipping that stitch, work a single on the top of this brown circle, chain four, go to the next circle, in the top stitch, and it's not critical if it's one stitch to the left or to the right, don't um, be too much concerned. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Your next circle looking for that top stitch, work a single, chain two, I'm going to skip one stitch and then work a corner, that's a single crochet, chain two and a single crochet. Now I've done two edges, this edge, that edge. Repeat what we've just done along this side and along this side and then close on your first single crochet with a slip stitch. Don't cut your yarn because we're using the same color for the next round. Round two. I'm currently in that first single crochet. I'm just going to slip stitch into the chain two corner space. Chain three. This is my first double crochet. This chain three. You can also do a standing double crochet here if you like. Then again, chain three. This is for the corner. Now work a second double crochet in the chain two corner space. So this is your new corner made. We're going to skip the next stitch, that's going to be that single crochet, and then in the chain 2 space work 2 double crochets. I'm just going to work on my over my initial yarn tail that I have here. It's one, two double crochets in the chain 2 space. Next up is the single crochet here, work a double on that. The chain four space. Work four double crochets in there. One, two, three, 
and four. Four double crochets. The single crochet, work a double crochet on that single. The one that's here in the middle. Chain four space, work four doubles in there. So one, two, three, and four. In the single crochet, work a double. Chain two space, two double crochets. One and two. Skipping the last single crochet here in the corner space, a chain two corner space, work a double crochet, chain three and a double crochet. Then this corner. It's exactly the same as the corner you just started with. So what you've done on this edge, repeat that on your other three edges also, and then close on the chain three with a slip stitch. Round three, you cut a yarn on my hook. I'm going to start in any chain two, or oh sorry, chain three corner space. In this corner, I'm going to make a new corner. Start with a standing single crochet. So one, do two single crochets, chain two, and then two more single crochets. One and two. So you've got four singles in that corner. Two singles, chain two, and two singles. On the straight edge, work a single crochet on every stitch. Especially mindful of that first one that you don't accidentally skip that stitch. That's one. Two, you're going to work a single crochet on every stitch. That's going to be 17 singles. Then you will get to your next chain corner space. In there, work a new corner, which is again two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets. Go all the way around. When you get to your first stitch, Close here with a slip stitch. Round four, I have a new color yarn on my hook. And this round you're going to make a corner, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and then work a double crochet on every stitch. Find any chain two corner space, doesn't matter which one you choose. Get to start in there with a standing double crochet. You're also more than welcome to do a chain three here. A second double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochets, all in that same chain two space. Oops, again. That's your first corner made. Now a double crochet on every stitch, and especially this first one, you'll see it just kind of, that one there, you, it can be hidden by your corner, so be mindful that you, that you get that first stitch also. You have to do a double crochet on every stitch, it's going to be 21 in total, so 21 doubles. That will bring you to the other side, where you work a new corner in your chain 2 space, so let's get 2 doubles, chain 2, and 2 doubles. Go all the way around, and when you get to your first stitch, close on there with a slip stitch. Round five, and you'll cut a yarn on my hook. I'm going to start in any chain two corner space with a standing single crochet. Chain two and another single crochet. That's your first corner made. We're now going to making chain stitches. I'm going to do a chain two. One, two. 
the pattern does state a chain 3 here I'm doing a chain 2 because I found that, um, that otherwise my pattern, uh, my square bobbles a little bit if your tension is tighter than mine you will need that chain 3 so this is, I'm doing that um, to adapt for my own tension I'm to skip 2 stitches, so 1, 2, skip and then work a single crochet. I'm going to do this eight times. Chain two. Again, if your tension is tighter than mine, do a chain three. Skip two stitches. Work a single. Chain two. Skipping two stitches. Work a single. So you're going to do this eight times will bring you almost to the other side and then work a single chain two and again keep on skipping two stitches and then working a single crochet chain two skip one two stitches and work a single this point you should have eight of these um, chain spaces one two three four five six seven eight is eight chain stitches and you have one stitch left before you get to your next corner chain two again if your tension is tighter do a chain three here go to skip this last stitch and then in the corner work a new corner so it's the same as this one here so it's a single crochet chain two and a single crochet. This corner is exactly the same as that corner. So what we've done here, repeat this on your other three edges also and then close on your first stitch with a slip stitch. I'm going to use the same color yarn in the next round so I'm not going to cut my yarn. Round six Currently in that first single crochet, I'm just going to slip stitch into the chain 2 corner space. Chain 3, this is my first double crochet. To make a second one in that same stitch, that same chain 2 space, chain 2, and then 2 more double crochets. one and two. That's your first corner made. So it's two doubles, chain two and two doubles. We're now going to work three double crochets in each chain space. So whether you have the chain two or the chain three here, work at three double crochets in each chain space. So you're going to skip the single crochet itself and then in the chain space, work three doubles. That's one, two, three. Go on to the next chain space and here also work three doubles. That's one, two, and three. I'm going to do this nine times until you get to this point. I'm just going to quickly make a jump in the video. So work three double crochets in each chain space. It's two and three. Last chain two space or chain three space. Work three double crochets. In your next corner space, going to work two doubles, two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles. One and two. This corner is the same as the corner we just started with. So repeat this on all your three other edges also. So that's three doubles in each chain space. 
work a corner and you get to your first corner close on that first chain three. Round seven, currently in that first double crochet there of the of the corner. It's going to slip stitch into the next double crochet and into the chain two corner space. Go to work a new corner. It's chain three. This is your first double crochet. Do another double crochet. Chain two and two more doubles. So that's again a standard corner. So it's two doubles, chain two, and two doubles in your corner. And now we're going to work a double crochet on every stitch. Be mindful of the first one, you don't accidentally skip that stitch. Work a double crochet until you get to the other side. It's going to be 31 double crochets. When you have 31, it'll bring you to your next corner space where you work a new corner. Again, two doubles, chain two and two doubles. You do that on, the, on your next corner. Go all the way around, a double crochet on every stitch and close on your first stitch with a slip stitch. I'm going to cut my yarn because after this round we'll be using a new color. Round eight, new color yarn on my hook. I'm going to start in any chain two corner space. Start in here with a standing single crochet. Second single, chain two, and two more single crochets. So you've got your new corner here. Corner is two singles, chain two, and two singles. I'm going to start this edge by working a single crochet in the first five stitches. Now this first one, this is the first one, be sure to, uh, to take that one too. That's one. I've got a cat here, I think. There we go. One, two, three, four. Five single crochets on the first five stitches. You're going to open up, you're just going to come down. We're now going to work a front post stitch around the next stitch, but two rows down. So you see here these three that you worked into that chain space around that center stitch of those three, you're going to work a front post stitch. Now, depending on your tension work a front post double crochet or even a front post treble if you find your tension is too tight. I'm going to work a front post treble so I'm going to do twice over the next stitch come down and around this stitch catch it and take off one two three times. You really want your stitch to um, just lie flat on your um, on your work. If you uh, work a front post double here, make sure that that is loose enough because the original pattern does use a front post double. But if you work it too tight, you'll notice that your square pulls inward. So be mindful of that. I'm going to skip a row, um, a stitch to the back, and then work three. Skip a stitch to the back, and then work three single crochets. Sorry, only two single crochets. Only two. Two single crochets. We're now going to repeat this on the next group. Again, you've got here those three doubles. Then that one middle one going to do the front post around there. Around that stitch. And then work one, two, three. Again, skipping one stitch to the back. See, I'm skipping one stitch. Work two singles. One, two. I'm going to do this nine times. It'll bring you to this side here. I'll show you once more. Twice over. 
next stitch, come down, pick up the yarn, do one, two, three, skipping one stitch to the back, one, two singles. I've now done the repeat three times. I'm going to do this until you have nine of these front post trebles here. So I'll see you here for this last bit here and those last stitches. I'm almost to the other side. I'm going to work my last front post stitch here on that last group of three. Skip one stitch to the back. At this point you should have five stitches left to the corner. Work a single on each of those. That's two, three, four, and five. Your corner space again, two singles, chain two, and two singles. This corner is exactly the same as the corner we just started with. So everything you've just done on this edge with these front post stitches repeat on your other three edges also. Again, take note, make sure your, your square lies flat, that this doesn't curl inward. If your stitches are too tight, it will stand like this. If you So make sure that these stitches are loose enough. I've now done a front post double, uh, a front post treble because that um, gives me more room to get them flat than a front post double crochet. If your tension is very loose, a double crochet will be better here. If your tension is very tight, you might even want to consider a front post double treble. So just look at your own tension exactly how you want to work those stitches. So go all the way around. When you get to your first stitch, close there with a slip stitch. Round nine, last round for this square. I'm going to start in any chain two corner space with a double crochet. Chain two space, the standing double crochet. Do another double crochet in there. If you want to, you can also start with a chain three. Chain two and two more double crochets. So one and two. That's your corner made. Two doubles, chain two and two doubles. We're now going to work a double crochet on every stitch until we get to the other side. You get to the other side another corner. It's your first stitch. Be mindful that you don't accidentally skip that stitch. So it's a double crochet on every stitch. That will be 39 doubles in total. When you get to the other side, work a new corner. That's two doubles, chain two and two doubles, just like this one. Go all the way around. When you get to your first stitch, close here with a slip stitch. When you've completed the last round, your square looks like this. You'll find that your square is a little bobbly at this point. You see here a little bit of, that it bobbles a little bit, so block your square and this will flatten it out completely. And after blocking your square it looks like this, nice and flat, so all the wonky wobbles are gone. This brings us to the end of this instruction video. I hope it was a useful video for you and thank you for watching.